Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Although you can't alter the actions that come preloaded with Acrobat DC, you can edit actions you have created. To edit a custom action, choose the Action Wizard from the Tools Center. Next click the Manage Actions button in the Action Wizard toolbar. The Manage Actions dialog box opens and displays a list of available actions. Notice that when you click on any of Acrobat's included actions, the Edit button is grayed out and unavailable. However, when you click on any action that you have created, the button becomes usable. Click the Edit button after you have selected the custom action to edit to launch the Edit Action dialog box. You can add, remove, or alter the steps in the action within this dialog box. After making your changes, click the Save button. Acrobat updates the steps in the action to reflect your changes. You can also delete a custom action you have created. To do this, select the name of the custom action you want to delete within the Manage Actions dialog box. Then click the Remove button at the right side of the dialog box to launch a message box that asks if you are sure you want to delete the custom action. Click the Yes button to delete the selected action. When you are finished editing and deleting custom actions, you can close the Manage Actions dialog box by clicking the Close button within it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.